Associated with your bench will be the microscope kit. If you open the box, inside you will find lens paper, microscope slides, and cover glasses. Please only use the microscope slides. Cover slips have no role in gram staining. Okay, so our demonstrator is going to prepare to do the gram stain. She's going to be handling her cultures, so she would like to wear a glove to protect herself from her cultures. She also needs to protect her eyes from any spattering or stains that she may come into contact with. Now she will light her Bunsen burner. Okay. She will put it to a blue flame. She will get a single microscope slide from the box. So having acquired the single microscope slide, our demonstrator will now place a single drop of water, quite small, onto the slide. From this point, she will sterilize her inoculation loop using the center cone. Now, she will acquire her culture plate. She can quench the heat in an area where nothing has grown, and she will acquire a portion of a single colony. Having now gotten bacteria onto her loop, she will put them into the drop of water on her slide and she will spread this and mix this as well as she can, ensuring that the cells are resuspended very nicely throughout the drop of water. From this point, she will re-sterilize her inoculation loop so that it will be safe to lay down. And now she will let the slide dry. Once the sample has been dried onto the slide, can you hold it over the floor so we can see it a little bit better? You'll be able to see the residue of where the cells were. This is an appropriate time to now heat fix the cells onto the slide. In order to do the heat fixing, you need to first remove all of your gloves you don't need them any longer, and place them in an appropriate waste receptacle. Then you will grab tongs, the metal tongs, and use them to hold a single edge of the glass slide. And then with the slide tilted slightly, you will apply heat to the bottom of the slide. Just a few quick passes through the blue cone of heat should do it. Check the back of the slide for heat, so the slide should not be hot enough to burn your hand. Do that with care. Once this has been completed, the sample is dead and it is now heat fixed to the slide. So you can put the slide down onto the surface, turn off the flame, and we can begin the staining procedure. So, with the heat fixing done, I have two gloves on and I've brought my slide to the staining, uh, staining rack. I'm going to pipette a 40 microliter drop of crystal violet on top of my sample and immediately and carefully dispose of the tip in the waste basket. I will then wait 30 seconds for the stain to act. After the 30 second incubation, I will then add 80 microliters or two pipette volumes of crystal uh, grams iodine, Lugol's iodine, sorry, onto my sample. And one of the things that you can see that happens is that they interact and they make a very pretty metallic sheen on the surface of the slide. 
Now I wait 30 seconds. Now, the next thing is, is to prevent any spills of the crystal violet, we're going to turn it on its side and catch any drips. And then we're going to remove the slide using our plastic forceps into the acetone. The acetone will pull the crystal violet from gram negatives. The cell wall lacks additional cross-linking, but the crystal violet iodine complex will stay associated with gram positives as long as we do the de-stain for a very limited period of time. One second is sufficient. And now I want to go back to the towel and allow the drips to catch on the adsorbent material. Once that has been done, I place the slide across the staining rack and simply add a couple of drops of safranin and wait 30 seconds. While you're waiting for the safranin to stain, you should ensure that you will be able to wash off the safranin with a small amount of water. Be very careful about the degree of water flow. You want the lightest water stream you can manage. And then it's just a quick wash and then you move the slide to the blotting paper. being careful not to rub the sample on the front of the slide. Gram stain finished.